Hi everyone, Rick Bray here with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to Google Forms. So what is Google Forms? Basically, it's an online questionnaire that you can use to survey or collect information from your desired audience. Uh, some advantages, some really nice features of Google Forms. First, all of the data that's compiled from the survey uh, for each respondent will automatically be fed into a Google Sheet, which is an online spreadsheet very similar to Microsoft Excel. So all of the data from your survey will be put into a spreadsheet, which makes it very easy to organize and analyze the data. Also, you don't need a Google sign-in, you don't need a Google account to take a Google form. All you have to do is pro be provided a link. So we'll show you in a later video how to get that link get it to your audience, and then they simply need to click on the link and take the survey. There's no need for a sign in. So how do you get to Google Forms? Well, one way is to go to your Google Drive account uh, through any web browser, click on the new button, and then you can either click or hover over more, and you'll have the option for Google Forms, and that will make a new Google Form for you. Alternatively, you can open a web browser and you can type in the address bar forms.google.com and that will take you to the Google Forms homepage, if you will, where just like with Docs, we have a bunch of templates at the top that you can choose from uh, and maybe find one that fits, not just a simple blank survey. So once you have your Google Form, it, it starts off by being untitled. You can title it if you want sample form or whatever you want. Maybe you call it a quiz, maybe you call it a homework, whatever the case may be. You may also need to change the title up here, but you see if I put the title in, in here, sample form, when I click on untitled form, it automatically changes it for me. Now there's a lot of buttons and a lot of icons going on, uh, but in the next video, we'll look at how to create the questions and what question types are available to you. So if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email Taylor or myself, and thank you for watching.